these teams' seasons and their uh, their standings inside of ah. league for their lives, honestly. <laughs> Or like, thank God, no yep. man is banned. <laughs> and that's a great ban from Red Devils, I have to say. It makes a lot of sense. Well, phase removed, they'll remove the Ying, which this is Latam, it's kind of there. I mean, in the last game, she wasn't even banned. Nope. But she was never used. Nope. Wow. I've, I think I've heard a caster or two talking about it every now and then. M maybe. Mm. Here goes the Mira. Yeah, so Echo Maestro. Probably an Echo ban. Yeah. It, like we I said. I mean, it's Red Devils banning. They actually use the Echo pretty well, so I wouldn't be surprised if Maestro's taken away. Yeah. It is Maestro. They're going to play the Echo. So, we we'll return to a little bit of, uh, I guess, leveling out as far as the defender, uh, defender ban goes. Mm -hmm. When we uh, when we came back from SI, it was Echo and Mira leading the charge as far as most banned defenders in Ladam by a hefty margin, but now uh, Maestro is getting banned out a little bit more often. Mm -hmm. Now we're seeing a lot more Echo play. Yeah, I remember the, the ban rate is over an entire game, entire map, um, whereas the pick rate is over every single round. So there's just a slight difference in the way you calculate things. They're not um, as simple as you may think. Though, Face Clan will go for the sixth pick on the AQ, lock it in in just a second. Astro, Mav, Ion, and Yuna coming in with Zofia, Buckfinka, and Habana. So nothing really out of the ordinary. The, the Habana kind of just... It, on a map like this, you're not even expecting to open up a whole wall. Especially with the way that um, the defenders play with the impact tricks and such. Just having the Habana to have an extra angle with you going around the flank to enter him for the plant, I think is a much better way of doing things. But with the defense here, it's a very flexible setup. We talked about the pulse. We talked about the C4 plays. I'm not sure if Abra is actually bringing his uh, C4. A good position, actually, for the jammer because that blocks off the doorway and the hatch, or the not the hatch, but the drone hole at the same time. Pretty good position um, inside of the um, of the closet. And other than that, it's just standard setup from Red Devils, uh, except for the fact that Midi is still... No, there we go. It's going to walk out. The, the only thing is that, yeah, you're not bringing a bandit or uh, a cloud. That's not really a big problem because if you hold on to the top floor in the bend room and use your jammers correctly, then you don't actually need really that. Almost well, looks like FaZe have identified an immediate target they want to press down upon. The drone from the cameraman will spot out VNX inside of this closet and VNX still unable to grab the drone. Finally will dispatch of that. A Claymore place the window. Doesn't look like FaZe is going to get too antsy on this one. Although a frag grenade from Ion will start things off hot onto Abreu upstairs. There goes your mute. And now a push in from cameraman as the Finca charge comes out from Ion. So suddenly inside 45 seconds, you're two members down if you're Red Devils. Suppressor on the uh, Kia, the K1A. Uh, he's just sitting right behind that uh, Mute Jammer, and the kill actually taken away by Zion. So Astro will be felt, and Cameraman is fairly low on HP, I believe, picked up by a Finca boost there. Midi going for the peak, but it's a pre-fire. No! Oh, Cameraman is just not able to find the kill. And Ion is actually bringing the LMG, which is very expected. Back in the day, Yuna was the player that would run that position. So one Adrenal Surge left in the back pocket. Uh, of Ion here to use on the Finca, but it turns to a 3v3 with the grenade missing as well. Midi in a close up position here by the sofa. And Mav just joining away has not found him just yet. Midi with a quick peek, but barely, barely able to do a tiny bit of damage to Mav, who's now boosted. And as he goes for the diffuser or for the, for the drone, that's the kill. Mav with one, Yuna with the second. And now the Vigil Velvet is upstairs. No impact grenades left to open an extra hole for any information, any kills. And there's so much time left, Rob. It's going to come down to the calls and the pings off the Yokai. One of them missing and the other one on the planter, but Velvet targeting in on the wrong ping. And the plant will be successful from phase as they now stand at a 1v3 for Velvet to work out of in a post-plant scenario. Still above the hatch and he's been identified as such as he shot Mav in the backside as he tried to push in through this closet doorway. Looks like it'll be Ion taking first engagement as he's 
honestly on a perfect angle. No exposure from up top in the hatch through the doorway. This will require Velvet to drop. Pre-fires in behind the couch, won't land, and Ion inching closer and closer to establishing a strong angle in the door. The drop will come out, and they will hear this, but Velvet will rip down Ion. Another one for Velvet, as Math will fall in tandem, but now 5 HP on the Vigil. Pulls off the defuse, but Yuna in behind with the Bearing 9 will close it out. Phase in a very back and forth round that started off wonderfully for them, still able to secure it in the post plant. A wonderful attempt there from Velvet, though, on the backside. An odd kitchen defense to start with for Red Devils. Yeah. Not typically the site you would see as your primary on Villa. Not at all, and I think I still have more stats. They're outdated at this point, but they, they do give you some sort of kind of point of view and how things work, even if it's only on land, which more often than not is actually a, a good representation of correct balance. You look at Villa overall, it's like a 60% defense win. Um, kitchen Dining is more of a 50-50. It re really wasn't played much with Living Room Library being uh, the last one only played a couple times. Um, this is Invitational stats, not Pro League. Keep in mind for anybody watching right now. And unsurprisingly, the, the two most dominant sites are Aviator Game Room and Trophy Statue that are above 60% win rate with a 63 plus for Aviator Game Room, which is why you're going to see it as the second site picked up here by Red Doubles. Yeah, your ability to impact trick basically every breachable wall into the site is massive. Yep. It stalls out everyone on the attacking side. Um, you really got to utilize the Havana just to make some poke holes and start adding some disruption and disruption, sorry, and force defenders off of commonplace angles more than utilizing it as an entry point. So at that point, you're still pushing through doorways and through tight corridors. It's an easy bottleneck for attackers to get locked up in. This is one of the reasons why Villa does swing so defensive side. It looks like Velvet might be going for a run out here onto the master balcony as we turn our attention away. Cameraman will be the lone man for Faze spawning out. On the west side though, and Midi peeking in the window as well. This is dangerous here from Red Devils, but he'll clutch it out. Look at Midi taking down Cameraman. A good start there, and honestly, there's no better member of the attacking team to take down as that's the IQ surrendered at the hands of the Echo. Now those Yokai's will have freedom for the rest of the round. Now bro looking for a second one to dive onto and a great kill, even having... There you go. There you go. No one close from FaZe to clean that up, though, on the trade when he's stuck outside making mistakes and unable to break open the window. But it's two aggressive actions from Red Devils now set them apart at a 5v3 advantage, again, inside the first 45 seconds. Mm -hmm. It's pretty huge here from FaZe Clan, or for, for, for the plays from Red Devils overall. It's just they're able to use every single bit to their advantage, not even having a Valkyrie. To, to play off of info. Ion is actually going to go for the adrenal boost here, but he's still full HP against the Brow, who's very close. No! There's only one way they can shoot you from! And Ion will find the kill. You know, with a bit of damage taken here from 90, but he'll go back and pick up the Diffuser. At least that's one taken away, and Astro just off the side by a hair, missing those shots. Right, looking for any... Uh, Yokai drone set up by MIDI, but there's none to be found. And of course, losing the AQ will not help you at all. And this is where that uh, Fink out with grenades is going to be a big bit of help. I'm just trying to destroy any jammers that are set behind, but still, you have uh, caught it. You have his impact available as well. Zion should have no problem shutting this these Xyrus holes out. No, they're actually going to be opened up. And in 90, Velvet though, will find one kill. The AUG in the hands of Zion here. But nobody's pushing up 90, at least not just yet. Yuna still holding on to the angle. One more adrenaline boost should have been left with Ion. His flashbangs are being thrown. That's a grenade, actually, from Ion that'll land right at the feet of VNX to take him out. And the boost to come on. Fire in from the cut in the back. So go and pre fire around the corner, find the kill on Ion. Quick reload as Velvet comes around 90, finds the headshot on Yuna, cleans things up. Red Devils, a successful and extremely impressive. Round 2v1, Velvet again with the Suppressor on the K1A. It's an interesting attachment choice, but again, he's hitting his shots, and obviously with that run out uh, later on, FaZe put on their back foot a little bit. The aggression coming out from Red Devils, I imagine that's what they were trying to emulate in the first round as well on Red, Red Devils' side. It was just FaZe catching them in their trap, so... Good response from FaZe in the first round of the aggression, and then that time around. A lot of separation for FaZe, early onset. 
If you know they're going to be bringing the aggression like they did in the first round, might want to play a little bit closer together so at least you can play for the trades. Um, a lot of what happens with Villa is, like I said, you get pushed into these bottlenecks, but if you're losing man count on the defensive side, there's a lot of angles that can still be opened up from the attacking side. If you lose manpower on the defense for the objective itself, you're going to have a lot of angles that are available to the attackers that you just won't be able to cover. There'll be too many possible entry points and peaking points mm -hmm. for the attackers. If I'm face here, I, I tighten up a lot. I start spawning a group of three on one spawn, a group of two on the other, and make sure you're playing for trades and be extremely wary of windows and doorways. There's a lot of them on Villa. You have to be very cautious when moving out of spawn on Villa for when teams decide to get a little aggressive like this. Yeah, and <laughs> that's... That's really the problem on your side as a face clan. Like, what do you do to deal with this? Well, you just have to watch for runouts early on in the round, right? Maybe a Dokubi would be a welcome change. That's that's something to look into later on. But VNX bringing the dock for just the extra sustain. It's going to be great. I wonder where you put his uh, bulletproof camera. I don't know if you put it on 90 or put it all the way in the back of B, which is the usual spot to look into. Uh, to look into the entry into bedroom because the maestro is not available. The impact uh, hole as well here would allow some for some late round rotations down below if you want to play C4 as well. I really like the way that Red Devils just kind of spread out. Midi though here in the bedroom is a questionable play, but this actually might work out if he's not spotted. So I assume there are mute jammers nearby to stop the drones from coming. There you go. And the second one? No. No, not quite enough. And another one bites the dust. Astro finds Velvet. And that's now two of your most important operators taken away, both the Legion and the Echo. And I, it seems like we're running into the reverse of the previous round, Rob. It's back and forth. 5v3 advantages. Teams losing two men early. Now Abreu will have to retreat back to site, as did VNX to try and support Zion as he was the lone member on the objective there for Red Devils after those two members had fallen, Midian and Velvet. So you're in a good spot here again if you're phased. The adrenal surge from the Finca of Ion will also boost everyone up and give them a little bit of a recoil adjustment and health adjustment and speed adjustment and ADS time. It's, there's a lot it's, packed in with the adrenal surge. It's a complete makeover. Good thing it only lasts 10 seconds. But Zion's gonna be backing into a peak hole made by Yuna and he'll collect the kill onto Zion. Abreu will fall in tandem, so now it's just VNX left alive in a 1v5, a nearly impossible situation to work out of as he rotates down towards the main hallway and he hears the IQ of Cameraman approaching his stairs. Dropped one, but now has to retreat further to reheal. He's put down to 25 HP, boosts him back to about 65, and now a little bit into the blue as he'll overheal. Back down to 100 now as a plant is coming out from Yuna. There should still be Yokai's on site to give calls, but no pings coming out from the team, and now being down and finished off by Astro. Three on the round for the Zofia. That's FaZe again taking control on a map like Villa. Every attacking round you can grab is monumental. Yeah, and especially on the sites, on sites like Heavy Air Game Room or Bedroom, uh, or, well, the, the Trophy and, uh, and Marble, because these are the sites that are 60 plus percent win rate. Um, so that's, that's, Something that will come back to, to kind of help you as the game continues because you keep locking the defenders out of these sites time and time again. And it's just a very quick flurry of kills. Kind of, we didn't actually realize what happened at some point there. It was just, oh, three kills happen and the round is over. And it's a, you know, suddenly a 5v1 and yeah. That, that spread from Red Devils was a bit too thin. The positioning was, was awkward, honestly, and I get Red Devil's standpoint here. They're trying evidently through their last three rounds, and I imagine they'll continue this into the fourth. They're trying to take a fight to FaZe. They know they're on a defensive side of map. They know that FaZe will have initial struggles getting in and setting up uh, for their initial progression, their first phase of their attack. FaZe. Um, and they're trying to stall that even more. And it did work out in the second round. But on that one there, you're getting caught off inside of Master as an Echo. I think I'd rather put someone like the Vigil there to, even with the Mute Jammers stopping drones, you're still invisible to the drones themselves and probably play a little bit safer. You can still keep one in Master, but make sure you're only peeking the windows and not walking directly into the middle of the bed so that you don't have a, a four, five, six way crossfire on you. Um, a, a, a valiant attempt from Velvet as well on the re -peak. 
hmm? as the lesion for the bathroom door, but just the top of his head exposed, and Astro won't miss those shots given the opportunity. No, uh, those are just shots that are too easy for him in the position that he's in. He almost got all three in the mm -hmm. connection. There's another yep. one peeking the left master door as well. Yep. So it, it would have been a clear shed out there, but finding the second one, clearing out the bedroom, the big problem is why was the Echo playing on the bed? That's the big question. But with that said, cameraman will start to clear off any cameras that are set everywhere. It's the anti-cameraman in this case. He's playing the AQ. We'll see a similar lineup for FaZe. The, uh, the, the Finca being brought in pretty heavily, and it's had pretty decent and positive effect on the round so far. Uh, not unlike a team like uh, Mouse Sports in EU that has had quite a few games where they will run the operator, and sometimes a bit too stubbornly, but will actually do something with it. Velvet up close and personal, and he'll just gonna get spotted and instantly taken away. Ice Astro coming in from the flank. Nobody watching off an AVG. Why? You have a singular player playing the roam with no support. The rest of the players playing from below with Ion <laughs> through the peak hole. Sit down, mute, literally. A pro will have nothing to do for the rest of the round except for watching the cameras. And three will be left alive against the full HP and a charge of face. That's tough because you lose one of your nitro cells that was prepped in hand. You lose your best operator for flank potential. Thankfully though, you leave Midi and Zion alive. And Zion has now facilitated the lesion roll off of Velvet from last round. So he's still got a lot of goo mines stacked around the map, and that'll help specifically with the adrenal surges. If you are Finca boosted and you hit one of the lesion mines strewn yep. across the map, you lose the benefits immediately and of the adrenal surge. And if you get hit by a yokai drone, it also cancels it at the same time. Yep. So you have two things that actually can do quite a bit of work without you knowing. You're not going to hit an operator specifically to cancel that, but it's just there. It's an added bonus. Something for Red Devils to try and hold on to here in the round as the wall has been opened up. Midi and the rest of the team here, Red Devils, just watching for any potential entry. And the drones will come in, will give out some information. The peak from Midi, the last bullet connecting with Yuna's head. Unfortunate. As he connects back, and yes, he'll find the Zofia has to go for the reload. The quick as well from the IQ, that's cameraman running around the corner. The ACOG, the commando will find the final kill. A few kills kind of given away there for free by FaZe. Got a bit too close for comfort, but they do secure the round and put themselves still at a pretty darn big advantage. And look, Rob, I'm starting to fear a repeat of our previous round. The big thing for me is FaZe's tempo has not been altered at all by Red Devil's aggression. FaZe are meeting aggression with aggression and keeping a high tempo in pace with Red Devils, and I don't think Red Devils were expecting that. There are a lot of pro teams out there, especially in this kind of crunch time scenario, where if you're met with this kind of aggression and uh, and play style early on in a game, you'll see some teams on the attacking side when they're receiving this aggression, they'll kind of turtle up a little bit. And they'll kind of slow things down and try and bait it out and try and catch a, a member of that aggressive team off guard. But instead, it's, it's FaZe keeping tempo and keeping pace with Red Devils and it seems like they're getting outpaced now, Red Devils are, by FaZe. It's impressive to see FaZe continuously pushing this train down the tracks like this. And Red Devils, I would honestly recommend at this point changing up the strategy. Like we've said, Ville is a very defensive sided map. And you're losing a lot of defensive rounds at this point. You've now guaranteed you can't be winning heading into the half. Your best result coming out of the half would be a tie yeah. at a 3-3 and you still have to win back-to-back -back rounds just to do it and then you have to head to the attack yourself this is already looking very dangerous for red devils just based off of the wonderful response from phase the adaptability from phase is really what i'm impressed with so far in this game yeah not just that but you know you have to look at it from the pure statistical perspective right three rounds on the attack is pretty darn good on villa this is a pretty good start again thermite though is going to be the big change Plus, go to Astro's bringing. The Maverick. Two hard breach operators that kind of would combo pretty well on this map. Because why, you may ask, FaZe are expecting to push Aviator Game Room again. And now, they're going to have the fix for it. They won't have to deal with impacts from a lesion, but the impacts from the Vigil would be something to deal with if the, the Vigil actually sticks to the site. 
Overall, Zion is the one that you have to really worry about. And the mute, but is going to get tapped and easily cleaned off here by Cameraman. As, oh, no. It's through the floor, baby. Yeah. That's not fun. Oh, there goes a yokai as well. You can see Cameraman just collecting all the possible utility from down below. Like you said, the anti-Cameraman this evening. Does appear there's a flank coming. Looks like it was Velvet downstairs on the Vigil. You've also got VNX playing 90 with a hatch open to drop down on Cameraman. So Cameraman alone on an island right now, but the rest of FaZe conducting a pretty solid push in through study. So again, another two-man advantage for them as it'll be Astro collecting onto Midi. Another man down from the frag grenade as Red Devil's opting not to bring a Jaeger in any single round so far. Finally, the second frag grenade from Mav will collect the corpse of Zion. VNX will fall. It's Velvet alone at the aviator door. And he's able to collect one onto Mav with the headshot again. That suppressor. Flashbangs ring out. And now Yuna was getting a plant down in the back, but it's Phase. sorry, Ion on Phase, Dropping Velvet as he tries to flank back in. Beautiful rounds again from Phase on the attacking side of Villa. Their pace, their cadence, their aggression, meeting the aggression, it's remarkable to see. Yeah, that's the Phase adaptability. They failed miserably one round, and then the next time they got to try the same set, like, you know what? We have the fix for it. And we, we couldn't see it there, but the Maverick opened up a hole in the wall. Yep. As Mavericks do and was able to get the kill on the, the Echo, an operator that caused a lot of problems for um, players of Face Clan before. And now, are they expecting the same site? No, but having the Maverick and the Thermite helps quite a bit on Trophy Statuary if your plan is to mostly focus on the entry from the bedroom, more standard way of taking the site, whilst holding on to opposite angles. You still have to clear out Aviator game room and have the extra pressure on the side because looking at the way that Red Devils play, not only in this match but before playing against Liquid, they will spread, they will play those positions. And if you actually can lock them out, you tend to grab free kills essentially um, early on, earlier on in the round, which would help you quite a bit. My big concern right now for Red Devils is their lack of a response to the strategy that FaZe have brought, specifically in the department of frag grenades. You've got four. You got two on Ion, two on Mav every single round, and yet there hasn't been a single Jaeger brought through six rounds in the defense now. Every single defensive round for Red Devils, you're still not electing to bring a Jaeger. In the first couple of rounds, it looked like an oversight, but now they're continuing with this strategy, and I don't know if they just... I don't know if they feel like they can play fluid enough to avoid the frag grenades, but there have been a considerable number of Red Devils defenders caught out by frag grenades, whether downed or completely killed off. The very first kill of the round was a frag grenade up through a windowsill. So, or sorry, the very first kill of the game was a frag grenade up through a windowsill. That, that's also a tough sell for me that Red Devils continuously run the same lineup. They've made minor alterations here and there with Velvet on the, the Vigil or the Lesion and VNX on the Dock or the Pulse. But the fact that no Jaeger has come out at all in this match is a little concerning to me. Yeah. Um, the, the grenade plays were definitely present, especially on this side before. Cameraman hopefully doesn't get like free kills like we saw before, but the Goo Mines are going to be spotted. And this one is... Yeah, I believe li literally in the middle here. Pretty difficult to find the camera. That's both yokai's down in yep. a minute. Activating jammer. <sighs> That's tough if you're it, Red Devils. Yeah, if, if I'm MIDI, I'm like, just take me out of the. Why am I even here? The biggest, the biggest concern again is Zion's not playing downstairs to try and counteract yep, that play. He's exactly. got the Valkyrie camps. He has the Nitro Cell. Honestly, Abreu and Zion could both play downstairs with Nitro Cell tandem and leave Velvet and Midi to play. Like, Why is the Valkyrie holding in? You have both an Echo and a Duck. Yeah. Why is the Valkyrie playing close to the Legion to hold on to the desk? Ion has a huge advantage in this one. And now they can even lock down the second player. The Valkyrie has escaped. But for how long, <laughs> Rob? I mean, that C4 is going to do some damage, and Zion will go back up. It takes away those drones, but needs the kill. Fuse is going to get dropped for just a second, and oh, somehow Zion is able to escape with his life. He takes away Yuna on the Thermite. The work's already done. The Thermite can pretty much die happily at this point. And Zion looking into peak at the opposite end. Bit more damage done here to the buck as he cooks the grenade to the back. We'll hit. Zion will drop. Goo Mine will do a bit of damage, but Mini can't even run out to help Zion in this situation. He has a few angles to hold on to. And the Doc in the back just cannot even pick 
this one up. 38 seconds on the clock. A decent time for a Devils to play with. They'll find a kill on Mav, turn into 3v3, but they're back. Somehow, actually, that kill has happened. And now FaZe just kind of control the whole... What is going on? Two kills for FaZe, and now they're completely clear. Oh, no, the Nitro Cell too far away will not connect, and the bro will have to walk on up into Astronomy. And man, a 1v3 in this situation, you're not going to win that. Ion absolutely demolishing Red Devils in the round. And FaZe Clan go up the half with... A substantial advantage, I want to say. That's one way of putting it. It's the diplomatic way. Yeah. Um, Are um, we going to see another 7-1? Possibly. I'm really questioning the positioning there for Red Devils as far as probably every single one of their members on that team uh, for that defensive round. Like we said, you had a double Nitro Cell tandem downstairs with Valkyrie cameras in the site that Cameraman wasn't able to access, but Cameraman was able to walk in downstairs, take down both Yokai's and Goo Mines and every other electronic that was displayed across the, uh, across the objective. And you had them both playing upstairs on site. You had two people stacking inside of Astronomy looking at the same angle. You had your Lesion, the only person who had availability to impact grenades, playing in Astronomy. You probably want to impact trick the Thermite charges that opened up the wall and allowed FaZe to walk yeah. in through. Had a, a multiple angles to play with. And then the dock was again, it was VNX again on the roaming dock on the far side of the map. So then when the site push comes in and everything breaks down, your dock is stuck inside of Trophy when it breaks down and you can't get your Valkyrie back up with a Stim Pistol, the whole purpose of, of bringing, bringing the dock, so. You sure? <laughs> that that round is just very just for the very confusing for me for Red Devils as far as where their players were positioned. It seemed like they actually had a good lineup. Okay, maybe you want to swap in a Jaeger here or there. But it looked like they had a good lineup to respond to what FaZe was bringing. Just the orientation and the positioning of their members made not a lot of sense. And FaZe walked right through it. And now they stand 5-1 heading into the defensive half on a Villa game. This is, like you said, probably trending towards them a 7-1. Well, let's see what goes on in this round here. Red Devils just on the attack. They'll go for the Twitch. I'm hmm, I'm curious, actually, because Latin America is still that region that runs the Twitch more consistently than any other one, right? Mm -hmm. um, in the top ten. Mm -hmm. But I'm actually curious as how this will combo with the others. Now, the Jackal is a great operator to have in here. Not only is he a great operator in general, but specifically on a map like this here in Villa, there's a lot of rotation play available. Wasn't actually used that effectively in the previous round by, or previous half by Red Devils, only for a couple rounds on the Vigil. But otherwise, if used correctly by FaZe here, um, VNX is going to have a bit of a hard time finding Astro or any other op uh, maneuvering around the map. And he has spotted someone. I'm just not sure Reload. who. And he's found the okay, but the wrong operator, the Legion, all the way up. Just a you can see Astro bring the Jaeger first chance. Frag grenades though will be coming in from oh. down below, oh. and it collects two huge kills on the cameraman and Ion stacked on the bomb chassis. So the ADSs won't do any good. A Legion line though will slow down the progression for Zion and Midi as they try and push up these south stairs. It's a good collection of kills right there. You lose the smoke and the Valkyrie. There goes your plant uh, delay, and there goes your plant denial in your nitro cell. And in the meantime, continuing to drone. And they know they have that advantage. I'm actually unsure of how that grenade got two kills there. Guys. That was cash money. But from behind this Astro to find one kill. Midi only doing a bit of damage to the Jaeger. It will retreat instantly. The bucket already done his job. And that's for sure, but... Loss of manpower might prove to be uh, complex later on. But it's great that the Twitch is actually able to hold on the, rot the back rotation from the, the back stairs. So that's something that might not actually hurt Red Devils much later. Oh, oh no. Velvet, he walks right into the fire phase. Mav with the kill. Zion so close. But Astro coming in for the rotation up to 90. Red Devils are just not watching the angle as I say that turns around and Zion with a 180 flick on Astro. 
Diffuser is gonna get set. Zion walks in, but Yuna is right in between them. Goes in for the spray. He finds one. Damage done to the second, but he turns around. Not enough to finish off the IQ. Mav has to come in and save the day. But no, you you forgot the most important thing, the Diffuser! No! No! Not like this! A 6-1 for FaZe Clan when they had no business winning the round. It comes down to timing, man. The timing was beautiful. And I, I believe, actually, that they did have the diffuser. It's just... Uh, the goo mine. I, the IQ was stuck in the goo mine. Yeah. Yep. You can't plant when you're you're stuck in goo. Timing, man. You're trying to push for a plan execute with tens or... Uh, I give them the benefit of the doubt. 20 seconds when they started pushing in and the smokes came out. But still, if something goes wrong, you know they have an echo. You know they have yokais. So where's the IQ grabbing You got two those? kills early on and then just kind of stopped. That's, that's, it was such a good start for Red Devils there too. And that's kind of where the exasperation comes from. For the viewers who are maybe wondering why we're two games in a row, a little upset. It's just because things start out well and they looked strong there for Red Devils. That frag grenade double kill was massive. Like I said, it, it cleared out a lot of utility that Red Devils were going to have to contend with if they wanted to go for that plant. And I'll be dead honest, if just the smoke was left alive, that round never even would have got to that position. Mm -hmm. But a beautiful play as well from the Echo to walk in through the smoke, land right behind him. And the patience, knowing the ping is coming out, to not pull the trigger too early. Again, good time management skills there. That's, uh, that is a very tough round to watch if you're Red Devils fans. If you are FaZe fans, though, the adaptability still rings true for FaZe, and... Mm -hmm. They'll look to lock things out again in a 7-1 fashion. All right. How does this continue? That's the big question. And actually, when does it end? Is the real big one looming above. FaZe looking to take one more, and they are on the second highest defender favor site on this map. And actually, overall in the game, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's like a 60-ish percent win rate on this, which is... Uh, it's pretty cold, to say the least. Still, default cams are up, which means Red Devils have not put themselves in the correct positions to snipe them off and enter the building. They're droning from the outside, which is good. But I hope that they continue to drone as the round continues, because that's a minute wasted now, with you not really finding anything, I want to say. Yeah, and even if you are collecting some information, it's going to be quite delayed. The Jackal Pings will come out onto a member at the top of the south stairs here, but it doesn't look like Midi is going to take that engagement just yet. Maybe could pull off another one of those parlor tricks with the frag grenade from down below. And Ion looking to uh, send a Nitro Cell over the gap, so they're not even going to try and impact trick. They're just going to straight up try and delete Abreu as he tries to go in for the breach. Which is a pretty sound strategy, right? What? Bit of damage done to Mav, but not enough really to push him off. Yes, thank you, IQ. The bomb has been spotted indeed. At this point, if you don't know where it is, then I don't know why you're here. But, Mini, trying to find somebody maybe playing in astronomy. Well, nobody up there. At least not close up to the hole that was opened up. That'll leave one side fairly open for Red Devils to push into. It is an angle that now you have to watch. The incoming from the bathroom and the C4 thrown by the wayside. Actually, not enough to destroy the charge. Spot the leg! It's there! Oh my... I swear to God. There we go. A bro will go down. Ion, a great kill here finally to finish off the Thermite. Under a minute left as you now find another one on the AQ. Velvet to peek in. That's the angle we were talking about just because of the hole opened up by the buck. And Midi comes in from behind. The Diffuser still not picked up. You got Mav on low HP, and Yuna has the one is the one felled for FaZe. Another peak coming out, playing close on the breach hole. Ion will decapitate via next, leaving Midi and Velvet pushing through Astro alone. Ion playing close, but he turns away the most inopportune time. Astro, though, will collect a double kill on the flank through Astronomy, and that is FaZe collecting a 7-1 win. Astro retreating up those Astronomy stairs on a beautifully timed flank. FaZe Clan, again, will propel themselves upward in the standings as we draw closer to having a much clearer picture on who will be going to Milan in Latin America. Oh man, 7-1, 7-1.
quick games. Yep, and Immortal and FaZe not only go up in points, but they go up massively in overall round differential. Something that might help out one of those two teams, if not both of them, as we get closer and closer to Milan. I mean, Immortals now having won, well, six rounds um, as an advantage in their game are now at 27, plus 27. Face Clan with three extra, extra points jump up to second place, obviously with Liquid and IAP not having played their games yet. And they'll have, actually surprisingly, only a plus 10. So FaZe having had rough games through, or very close games, I want to say throughout the season so far, especially in the first half of it, uh, yeah. I want to say. They had a bit of a dry spell in the first half, um, in their first half of the season, but since coming back from SI, even though they didn't make it to the main stage of SI, they've looked great. Yeah, hopefully we continue to see uh, their performance this way. With that said, we still have two more games to go. Team Liquid versus their opponents of INTZ coming up in just a few.